And good Monday evening. Thanks for joining us on WLAF TV 12 News. It was a packed house last Monday night and probably will be again for the county commission meeting this evening. We'll have that story for you first thing tomorrow morning right here on WLAF Radio. The Campbell County Cancer Association reaps benefits from a big weekend fundraiser, and there were more than 200 participants in the Friends of Cove Lake run slash walk over the weekend. We'll have these stories and many more next here on WLAF TV 12 News at 530. Well, it was a packed house last Monday night at the County Commission Workshop, and it will probably be again tonight when Commission meets in its regular monthly session. The hot topic of a possible property tax increase is at the crux of the matter. We'll have that story and, of course, the uh, complete telecast for you tomorrow on WLAF TV 12. Now, it was a big weekend for the Campbell County Cancer Association. Hazel with Hazel's Hairstyles and Stuff held her sixth annual Case Knife event Saturday, and more than $11,000 was raised. Organizers tell WLAF that by the time all the donations come in, the total may go beyond $12,000. Hazel says about 300 people showed up to take part with all the money raised going to benefit our local cancer association. Of course, all that money goes directly to help local cancer patients here in Campbell County. Now, all told, Hazel's events have generated around $75,000 since the fundraiser began way back in 2007. The oldest is 93, the youngest two years, and there were 226 other participants ranging in ages in between taking part in Saturday's annual Friends of Cove Lake 5K run slash walk. John Smart pushed a walker the 3.1 miles as the oldest participant, while Archie Waddell was the youngest. Waddell was pushed around the course in a stroller. Smart is from Knoxville, Waddell from Lenore City. 27-year-old Max Poke won for a second straight year while Jasmine Keller took the women's title. Both those folks hail from Knoxville. Uh, Poke's winning time, by the way, 16 minutes, 21 seconds. There was some local flavor, and as recent Campbell High grad Bradley Paul came in third, Jacksboro's Terry Gray claimed the Grand Master crown on Saturday. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming into your Sears hometown store for all your lawn and garden needs. And remember, we have uh, appliances, so be sure to come in and buy a washer so you don't get laundry up to your eyeballs. Hi, folks. I'm Gary at Sears. For every box of detergents that's sold, Robert said he'd give me a raise, so please come by and buy some. Thank you. See Robert, Gary, and the entire crew at your hometown Sears store, Food City Center, Woodson Mall of Follett. Well, plenty of sunshine today, some clouds scattered here and there, and again, we're starting to heat up. You can feel that summer feel building in a little bit today, and we'll get a real good taste of it tomorrow. Tonight, partly cloudy and down to 65, and here for the next couple of hours through about sunset, there's still that limited chance of some of you seeing a spotty shower or storm. For our day Tuesday, right around 90 and mostly sunny skies. Now, with the heat of the afternoon and the evenings comes chances of showers and storms all the way through the weekend, in fact, and pretty much this is a uh, carbon copy uh, everyday forecast all the way through Sunday. Expect highs close to 90, maybe a shade above as we welcome summer on Wednesday officially. Mostly sunny skies during the day and then a chance of a shower storm in the afternoons. Now, here's the downside. Uh, some of us, when we do see a shower or storm, could be on the uh, strong to severe side of storms. The potential is there for damaging wind, large hail, and, uh, of course, heavy rainfall. And, again, not everybody's going to see a storm, but they'll be scattered throughout the afternoons. We'll call them random storms all the way through Sunday for the days. Now, at night, temperatures cooling off into the 60s and partly cloudy skies with, again, a small chance of a shower storm in the evening hours just before sunset. So some great weather days ahead as we get into summer officially. It's felt like summer since January some days, but uh, 90s this week all the way through Sunday here in the Lafollette Campbell County area. Now, TV, TV shows tonight coming up, 6.30, Brother Jerry's telecast, the Bible stories with Brother Jerry at 6. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to WLAF News at 5.30. I'm Lori Leach. Time now to announce birthdays and anniversaries for this 
Monday evening. It's all brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli, located in the Food Lion Shopping Center. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to Rudy Monday, who celebrated his birthday on Saturday, Martha Hill and Mary Catherine Parrott, who celebrated their birthdays on Sunday, and today, Burton Shelton, who turned 84 years old. Everybody just mentioned is now qualified to win a dinner from two from Eastside Pizza and Deli. The couple celebrating their anniversary today is Jim and Nancy Ferris, and that was from Friday. And those couples are now qualified to win a dinner for two from Eastside Pizza and Deli. Let us know who's celebrating an anniversary or birthday in your world. Just call us at 562-1450. That's it for birthdays and anniversaries. Thanks for joining us this evening. We invite you to stay tuned. Your news continues after this.